Hey everybody, it is Jason from the Texas Gun Vault 2, and I'm coming to you today from my hot garage like always. It's actually not too bad because we had a cold front. It's only 92 or 93 degrees today here instead of 106 or 107, so we'll take it. So I'm going to try not to use the fan because I know it's an annoying hum on your side. But if it gets too bad, I'll have to turn it on. I'm just out here in the garage cleaning up or getting ready to clean up this Arsenal Sam 5 because I just finished the range report on this thing and I always clean the guns before I return them to the owners because that's just, you know, part of the respect. You know, anybody that lends a gun to the channel, I always want to make sure that I take their gun apart for them, clean it. And uh, just, just take care of it as a thank you gesture. So I really do kind of a, a full-on detail uh, cleaning of their firearms. So I'm out here doing that. Uh, AKs are always really, really easy to clean because there's not really much to them. But today I wanted to talk to you about a couple things. I don't think I have anything really all that exciting. I guess we can talk a little bit about YouTube and then talk about some clone parts again. And maybe you guys can help me, but I don't think you can because I like to think I've researched everything possible. But anyway, uh, let's talk about some YouTube stuff. First off, even though my channel is really small, well, it used to be a lot bigger, but right now it's smaller. I think it's like getting close to, I don't know, 60, 700 subscribers on the main channel, which is pretty good. And I started the new channel on February the 1st of this year. And what are we now in mid-July? So not bad, you know, I still wish I had my, you know, 45,000 subscribers. I, I said I probably have way more than 50 by now, but it is what it is. We're, we're uh, regrowing and the channel is way more organized. But sometimes I think that bigger channels watch other channels and get ideas. Now, I fully admit that I will sometimes get ideas from other channels. But I've noticed uh, a couple of things have changed. And I don't know if I had any impetus in that, but I can see who subscribed to my channel. You know, when I, um, I can look at my subscribers and I can even put them in ranking of their own subscribers. So the biggest channels that are subscribed to me. And I have a few that are pretty big, um, but not the, the biggest. However, I have had a few channels comment on mine that I know are legitimate. Like Mr. Guns and Gear, he has commented on one of my range reports in the past had a very very nice nice comment um and then there are other big good channels that i think have realized either what i do or what's successful and have copied it in a relatively short period of time now the first one is well maybe it's it's just i don't know timing you know i'm not saying it's me but I find it's really funny that I come out with these top five guns of my collection video series, which the next one premieres tomorrow, which is my clone rifle builds. And all of a sudden, the Yankee Marshall is now doing the top five revolvers of my collection. It's kind of weird. I'm not saying he saw my video. I'm not saying because top five videos are pretty common. You know, I just find the timing to be a little bit odd. Another thing that I may have influenced is you guys know that I don't want to say it's a crusade, just uh, something I've gone back and forth with about using the thumbnails of the Arm Scholar in my videos, where I talk about clickbaity thumbnails, how I don't think they're very honest, uh, they can mislead people, and they have nothing to do actually with the um, topic of the video. Uh, so if it says groundbreaking, it's really not groundbreaking. Or if it says breaking news, Joe Biden calls for an assault weapons ban. I'm like, he's been doing that since 1989. That's not breaking news. But anyway, I've noticed that the armed scholar has started to change his thumbnails. He still says the same things he does. But now, instead of just including a picture of the Supreme Court and an angry Joe Biden and uh, a very somber-looking uh, Justice Thomas, uh, he now inserts himself as well, like looking to the side and being like, 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 like that. And I think it's kind of in 
uh, response to not just me, but other YouTubers using his thumbnails as examples. And I don't know if it's him trying to insert himself in them or change them in a way. I don't know. I've noticed that as, as well. Have you guys noticed that? Because I know that I'm not the only channel that has talked about this. And I think that he is acutely aware of the criticism of other channels. Or, or criticism of channels about his. But I'm just curious. I just find the timing of those couple of things interesting. And sometimes, as I tell people that make content, you never know who's watching. You know, I've talked about how the presidents of firearms companies, the big-time sales reps of companies, um, the, uh, you know, people that are in government, used to be in government, high in the military. I have people that are former special forces that watch my channel. And I have no idea why. No, no idea why. Um... You know, because I'm nothing special. And, uh, but hopefully it's because they realize that I'm not trying to be something I'm not. You know, I know there's a lot of guys out there that review guns, shoot guns, that are like my Mark 18, my, my Mark 12 clone stuff. That those were the guns of the special operators. But I don't go out in the field and act like I'm a special operator. Just because I have cool guns or have built guns or shoot guns that... Um, you know, police, militaries, and things use, it doesn't mean that I think I'm part of the police or the military. You know, I just get to shoot and experience them and talk about my uh, perspective as an average gun guy that just thinks the guns are cool. You know, I don't go out there and pretend some, I'm something that I'm not. So I am humbled when those people watch my stuff. You know, sometimes people message me and go, hey, I, I used to be in Special Forces. I shot the Mark 18 or the Mark 12. Uh, here's the information that, that I have. Um, it's really cool. It's, it's it's honestly really, really, really humbling. But you never know who's watching. You know, I was I had dinner with some friends a couple nights ago, and uh, they were talking about watching some of my videos, but they don't really comment all that often. And it just reminded me that they still watch my my videos. You know, it's weird. It's just you just don't think about who's watching because sometimes. I'm just sitting here in the garage by myself, and I'm literally just talking to a cell phone and rambling on about my thoughts. So I think it's important that all content creators think about who's who's watching their stuff. So that's what I wanted to talk about. Nothing too exciting. But I am coming to ask for your help again on this clone Mark 12 project I have. And I'm going to go ahead and preface this because the last time I said I need your help, if you ever see one of these parts or things, to let me know. And I was accused of asking people to get them for me or send them for, to me for free. Don't send it to me for free. Don't any of that. I just need to know where I can purchase it myself, okay? I am looking currently for a Arms Incorporated number 22 medium height scope ring set. They are out of stock everywhere. I mean, everywhere. The biggest stores, all the local stores, the high ones are in stock everywhere. There's a few places that have the low ones. I need the medium ones. It's the Clone Correct number 22 throw lever scope mounts, scope rings for the um, loophole. It's the arms number 22. And I have put my name on all of the lists of notify me when back in stock. I have looked at all the auction sites. I have looked everywhere, and I cannot find these things. They are out of stock everywhere. I don't know. No one says they're discontinued, but it's really odd because normally when it comes to these parts, someone has them somewhere. Someone has them, and I have dug deep as far as I can on the internet, as far as I can. Uh, but anyway, if any of you guys happen to know of any, like at a local store that you frequent, uh, let me know. Let me know. I'm not asking for any you know, financial assistance. I just need to find those scope rings for my Mark 12 uh, build. Um, I'll pay whatever I need to get them. And then I also need the arms. I think it's the number 21, which is the uh, rail that goes on top. It replaces one of the tops of the scope rings and the actual rail itself. That Those are out of stock everywhere too, but not a lot of places carry those. And I've even looked at Arms Inc., their website. And they're all out of stock, and all that. But you can't be notified when they're when they're back in stock. I don't know. It is crazy because I don't think there's that many uh, people that need these, and are trying to build Mark 12. So I need your help. I need your help on that. 
just let me know. You know where a set is for sale and how I can go about if it's not like, if it's not like online. I can arrange payment and all that. So I need, I, I need your help. So uh, I guess that's uh, really about it for today. Uh, I don't think I have anything else really to talk about. There's not really a lot of news. Um, what else was I thinking about today that I might want to talk to you guys about? Oh, how to be a better content consumer on YouTube and Rumble. There was one thing I was thinking about, and it's kind of an addendum to going back to what I was talking about with the clickbaity thumbnail channels and all that kind of stuff. I now have a procedure that whenever there's a thumbnail and a title that looks too good to be true, so throw one out there. I'm going to make this one up, okay? Huge win. ATF wins. We lose. Groundbreaking, okay? Uh, and then the title of the video, because that was the thumbnail, um, the title of, of the video will be um, ATF Stripped of Power to Regulate Suppressors. Before I click the video, or see anything about the, about the video, I look and see what the other channels are talking about. I just you know look them up, and then I go to a few aggregate gun news sites, like the Truth About Guns. And if none of those other sites are talking about a groundbreaking case where the ATF has been stripped of power to regulate suppressors, and it's a Supreme Court decision that's been handed down, because honestly, that would be gigantic news that would be reported on not just in the gun world, but in mainstream media, because they would claim blood's going to run in the streets and all that kind of stuff. Then I don't even click the video because obviously it's false and incorrect. So... If you want to know if a video is clickbait or incorrect, disinformation, misinformation, for your click, when you see something that's too good to be true, whether that be pro or con when it comes to gun rights, go check out, before you click on the video, just search up your other content creators that make similar content. See if they're talking about the same thing. Go to the gun news aggregate websites, see if they even mention it, because if the ATF, if, a, if the Supreme Court said, ATF, you can't regulate suppressors anymore, it'd be on the gun news uh, websites. I mean, it would be up there like that, uh, and or it might be published on like the websites of the GOA or you know the Second Amendment Foundation or the like. If you don't see it there, don't click on the original video because you know it's false. You know it's false. Anyway, I'm just trying to save you guys some uh, time and some frustration. But anyway, i got to get clean in this rifle. i got some stuff, stuff to do today. But, uh, yeah, so this was actually a really good review. The owner of this rifle said he's sorry that I had so many failure to feeds with it, which, by the way, is kind of a spoiler on this. But I really liked it. It's the lightest recoiling AK I've ever shot. I just had some issues. And I think the main issue... Might be this KNS piston, which as you can see looks a little bit different. And this helps you adjust the gas on it. So I think the gun was a little bit undergassed. However, I don't know. I, I still feel like I don't know, this the little spot in the in the back of the uh bolt carrier is still getting mushroomed a little bit which might mean that the bolt is coming back still a little bit too fast. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not an AK expert, but I see a little bit of that wear. But anyway, it is what it is. I did enjoy this rifle. So I got to get this thing all uh, cleaned up so I can uh, prepare the next rifle that he lent to the channel, the American Defense uh, AR-15. And I can get that to the range and make a video on that. But if you are a Patreon, uh, you should be seeing this range report in the next couple of days after all of the other range reports I've recently made. So thank you, everybody. Um, sorry, I don't have really a lot to talk about. Nothing groundbreaking. Just me kind of rambling here in the garage, wanting to talk guns with my friends. And that's it. You guys are my friends. And I always appreciate it uh, when you watch my stuff. Because lately, when I make a video... I get more views over here than I do on, on the main channel. 
So what does that tell you? <laughs> and yeah, I'm, I'm a terrible YouTube channel is what I tell you. Yeah. But anyway, I don't care. I'm going to continue making content. So as always, thanks for spending a little bit of time with me. And thanks for watching.